Mike here. I am so glad you could join me. Now, this started off with a message from James Hollywell. He wanted me to look at a video of an SR-71 pilot claiming to see more than he should be able to see if the Earth was, in fact, a ball. And I told James, after watching the video, that I would, just, I would need the pilot's name and I would need to verify this story simply because, in the past, I have used other people's information and found it turned out to be false. And I don't want to mislead anybody, folks. So I super, super double check now <laughs> before I make any video. And so uh, James went to work and I went to work and he found the pilot name and I went to where he got the article at Aviation Direct Easy Plan. And I said, this story, a real account from a real SR-71 pilot or just a spoof? And I got a reply from a pilot, Jeffrey Peterman, he says, real deal, story from SR-71 pilot, backseater did all the talking. And so then I just replied, thank you very much, Jeffrey, amazing aircraft. And so now I'm going to play you the part of what the pilot says, and then we're going to analyze his distances and show you that, in fact, the Earth is not a globe. Air Force Major Brian Schul is the pilot of the SR-71 on this day, and his co-pilot is Walter, who is in the back of the plane working all the radio equipment. And so I checked this out on Air and Space uh, to get the pilot's name and to verify the story. Be an SR-71 pilot. When Walter and I were doing a training mission around the United States where you just were building up hours and time, and we take off out of Beale, hit a tanker in Idaho, rip on up to uh, Montana, zip across Denver, hang a right turn in Albuquerque, out over Los Angeles, up to Seattle, back into Sacramento, two hours, 21 minutes. <laughs> and you just do that for, and you do it backwards, and you hit a tanker, it was just, just to gain crew coordination, get, build your hours. We're on our last training mission, we're over Tucson, I can see downtown LA from Tucson. We're at 89,000 feet, I can see the whole western United States bathed in a warm October fall glow. SR-71 Air Force pilot Brian Schul states that he was flying above Tucson, Arizona at 89,000 feet, and he was able to see Los Angeles and the whole western seaboard. Now, of course, this is not possible if the Earth is, in fact, a spinning ball because Brian Schul's max view distance would have only been 365 miles, Los Angeles being covered up by 9,970 feet of curved Earth. Let's continue. I can see the chain of Rocky Mountains from Canada to New Mexico. I can... Oh, what was that, Brian? Did you just say you could see all the Rocky Mountains from New Mexico to Canada? I can see the chain of Rocky Mountains from Canada to New Mexico. I, can... I, I guess Brian did say that. So, from the tip of New Mexico to the very edge of Canada is 1,150 miles. Now, I'm assuming Brian was still flying over Tucson when he saw the Rocky Mountains, but even if he wasn't and was in the middle of the Rocky Mountains, his max view distance would not allow him to see either New Mexico or Canada, simply because the Earth is supposed to be curved. If Brian was still flying over Tucson, Arizona, and saw the Rockies extend from New Mexico to Canada, that's 77 miles of missing curved Earth. If he was in the center of the Rockies, he still only has a max view of 365 miles at 89,000 feet. Folks, throw your globes in the trash, wipe the tears away. The Earth is flat, proven by the United States Air Force. This is Mike. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.